you're undertaking compaction at the field and don't know how to evaluate? Don't worry, because in today's amazing video, we are going to look at the different methods of field density test. But before moving ahead, do support us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Let's now first understand how compaction of soil happens. When you compact the soil, you're actually compressing its matrix. Have a closer look. You can see the soil matrix include soil solids, water, air. Now when you compress the matrix, the water and air is expelled that creates a compacted matrix. Have you ever wondered why we compact the soil? If so, here's the answer. Soil compaction is a vital part of construction. It avoids settlement. As we're going to support our structures on the underneath soil, so, it is very crucial to have a soil that dones and allow differential settlement. It improves shear resistance. We want the soil to be safe against deterioration and any failure due to shear. It enhances the density of soil by reducing voids and air content. And at the end we want the soil to be durable and stable against all odds. Now as the general example. Let's say you're constructing a highway. Now during compaction of subgrade if the soil is not properly compacted you'll face problems like rutting, potholes, and settlement cracks on roads. Now, let's have a look at this slideshow for better understanding. The compaction or increase in density is achieved at site with the help of dampers, different types of roller like steel drum roller, pneumatic tired roller, sheep foot rollers or different types of vibratory compactors. In some advanced scenarios where above methods won't work, the engineer can demand the use of compaction piles, pre-compaction method, compaction by explosives, compaction by pounding or terra probe method. Discussing all of the above methods is actually out of the scope of this video. So, my main focus would be on the different types of FDT methods. I would be answering questions like what are different field density test methods? What method is suitable for particular type of soil? Which test is more economical and easy to perform? Which FDT test method give more accurate result? So let's dive in. So, First let's see what are the different methods of field density test. Three of the most common methods are Sand replacement or sand cone method Core cutter method And water replacement method. Some other methods are also used for specific uses like Nuclear method Rubber balloon method Heavy oil method the core cutter method is actually well suited for soft soils like clay soils or other cohesive soils that are placed as fills. This method cannot be used for coarse grain soil as the core cutter would not penetrate through them due to high resistance at the tip of the instrument. Core cutter methods give accurate results as calculation is easier. The volume can be obtained accurately. This method is pretty easy to perform and no special arrangement is required for this method. Sand replacement method on the other hand can be used on wide range of soil types. It can be used for gravely fill as well as clay soil. However, for this method the calculation is not simple. You have to determine the volume of the hole indirectly. But even then it can give instant results and you don't have to wait for some time. Anyhow, this method is not as accurate as nuclear density test method.
nuclear density test is the fastest of all the methods and is easiest to redo when needed. You can get more tests for statistical reliability. However, this method is very costly and is not suitable for small-scale projects. This method also requires special equipment and safety precautions while performing. If we talk about rubber balloon method, it allows you to get large sample of soil which is good for testing. However, this method is little awkward and slow. If you find a problem with the balloon you may have to perform it again. But this method is cheaper to perform the nuclear method.